a real hell on earth. What Russia continues to do on the territory of Ukraine on the 22nd day of the war. On March the 17th, the occupiers fired missiles at the city of Pokrovsk, Donetsk region, which borders Russia. This war crime was committed by the Russian military with Iskander M short range ballistic missiles capable of bypassing air defense radars. The shelling bombed the store, there are victims. However, on March the 16th, the UN International Court of Justice ordered Russia to stop immediately and stop the war. The International Court of Justice ordered to immediately stop the invasion. The order is binding under international law. Russia must comply immediately. Ignoring the order will isolate Russia even further. The war that Russia has started is a crime against humanity. Another proof of this is the family that died in the city of heroes of Chernihiv. Parents and three children were found dead from the rubble of a dormitory bombed by the occupiers. As a result of Russia's full-scale invasion of independent Ukraine, the enemy has already killed 108 children. One and a half million of young Ukrainians have become refugees. Kidnapping and intimidating are the occupiers' tactics against those who do not want to obey the Russian regime. The mayors of two Ukrainian cities, Melitopol and Skadovsk, managed to escape from the hostages. But the enemy does not stop at the leaders and kidnaps civilians to intimidate Ukrainians even more. They just put a sack on their heads and kidnap people, says Sergei Haidai, the head of the Luhansk Regional Military Administration. Orcs put Ukrainians in front of a choice. Either to recognize Russian power publicly and work for the invaders, or not to recognize, and then you are sent to fight against Ukraine. And the third, execution. In the Suma region, another region on the border with Russia, the Russian military forcibly removed the entire family, according to the Office of the Prosecutor General of Ukraine. According to the investigation, Russian servicemen forcibly evacuated a family of five people living in one of the settlements near the border to the migration center in the aggressor's country under the pretext of evacuation. Kherson is Ukraine. It is and it will be. The city in the south of Ukraine, which the occupiers are keeping under siege and trying to establish Russian rule there, does not surrender. Currently, the invaders have removed the Ukrainian flag from the city administration. But they are trying to establish pseudo-power by creating a committee for peace and order. The fake committee included people who have problems with the law and are in the field of view of law enforcement officers for committing serious crimes. And yet the occupiers continue to make content for false Russian propaganda. They demonstratively offer humanitarian aid to the supposedly rescued residents of Kherson only to show it on their TV. But Kherson residents continue to regularly go to peaceful rallies against the occupiers. People want to live in independent Ukraine, and they openly ridicule the gifts of the Russian measure. Russia attacks not only physically. It has been waging an information war against the world and peace for a long time. Zona свободной торговли с Европой это прямая сдача страны, ее разорение. В подгузниках 44 человека, небритых, пьяных, с тем же самыми шевронами. Every day millions of people listen to and read the outright lies of Russian journalists about Nazis in Ukraine, bloodthirsty Europe and envious America. Самый неэффективный альянс, который можно себе только представить. Putin's propaganda stage fake news stories defacing the main rule of journalism, honesty. Это первая из нашей страны колонна с гуманитарной помощью мирному населению Украины. Ребята, как будто надо, блядь, пожрать от оккупантов. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the amount of Russian propaganda has grown to 90% worldwide. The aim of Kremlin mouthpieces is to spread panic, justify the war and undermine the world's attitude to Ukraine. Могут погибнуть мирные люди. Сейчас в Херсонской области ряд населенных пунктов перешел под контроль очень вежливых людей. 
The worst thing is that while the whole civilized world refuses to cooperate with Russia, Russian media are still broadcasting in Europe. The world must know the truth. It has only one interpretation. And Russian TV channels show the opposite. Особый интерес вызвала детальная информация о реализации США на территории Украины проекта по изучению переноса патогенов дикими птицами. Turn off Russian propaganda. Say no to fakes and war.